So today I'm going to share with you a conversation I had on LBC with David Lammy, not about food and farming, um, but actually about public services and austerity and what the Conservatives have done to our public services. Do have a listen. Liz, what's your view on this? Well, um, I've been through the criminal justice system as a victim. My son was attacked um, under the last Labour government in 2007. Um, and um, I recognise there is a feeling at which, the, you know, in, amongst society that they think there should be a way of the system coming in, eradicating somebody and getting rid of it altogether. Um, my son was attacked by a gang of 13 and, you know, you go into this not, you know, completely blind, not knowing what, what, what is ahead of you. I mean, luckily, in our case, we got through from the attack um, to the beginning of the court cases was only a year. I mean, goodness knows how anyone is coping with such a long delay between the event and the justice system. Well, the system isn't coping, is the truth, because what happens is if you don't bring on cases in good time, memories for, get forgotten, you know, yeah, cases get abandoned, in, it's awful. You are, you are in an awful place between when it happens and you don't know what you're going is ahead of you, yeah. the, the actual um, justice system yeah. and how that and how that court case plays out and whether they're going to get found guilty or and i think part of the problem and listening to your previous caller is that a lot of us don't really understand that we only see uh, police and the court system from tv programs and films and in reality it isn't like that in mm. reality it's depressing and it's dull um, and there is no way of sort of saying, I mean, the, 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 my son was hit on his head seven times with a hammer. Oh, my, and the kids oh my did God, it. Liz, really? <laughs> no, is I mean, okay? I, I, it is shocking. He has, a, he, he is okay. Oh. He has a serious brain injury. And oh. we've, we've been, we've been through the mire with it. And, oh. and I don't want to go yes, back over yeah, that. Yeah, but fine. all I can say to anybody uh, is that it, and, I, and to you, you're in politics. Yes. You're going to be able to make a difference. You yes. are going to be our next justice yes. secretary. Um, what we need to do is educate people better about what happens to people. Because if you think they've created, they've done this to me, and so I want them to be obliterated, it's wrong. It doesn't work like that. The whole reason that somebody goes to jail or when they're found guilty is to rehabilitate them. Unless they're, they're not able to be rehabilitated. And that is the problem the police always face. And, you know, they're always looking at things. Do we have enough money in the pot to go through the uncertainty of, uh, you know, of a court case? What if we don't win? And that's what we faced with, with ours. You know, there was a lot of trepidation about what, to, you know, which charge to go for. And it was all based around a financial decision rather than around the sort of emotional feelings of it. But, it, you know, the problems that you've got going in now is the Conservatives destroying the police by, you know, the decision to take away 20,000 of our police force was the wor one of the worst decisions next to Brexit, probably. Mm. I mean, they probably are on, on, on the par. And, and then to sort of rush to try and replace them. The police system is in crisis, and it's so important that we don't blame the police. It's no, not that's why fault. I didn't blame the police. I've had a couple of text messages saying the police are racist, the police are misogynists, um, uh, you know, why are you defending the police? And I, I deliberately chose, I'm not going to attack the police. I'm asking a f more fundamental question than that, Liz. So um, thank you for recognising that, and, and, and I think highlighting the issue, the sort of broader issue about how the justice system works and the education that's required of the public, because if they don't fully understand, things are always going to fall short. Liz, thank you for calling in.